action. Let's understand why we just saw what we saw with the mirror as it moved back and forth. So here's the screwdriver, and it's a distance of three units away from the mirror. This is the object distance. Here's the focal point. It's a distance of two units away from the mirror. Let's draw the rays that come off the screwdriver. Now, in reality, there's an infinite number of light rays that are coming off the screwdriver, bouncing off the mirror, and converging at some point, and we see it with our eyeball. I'm going to choose just a couple to show where they converge, and um, I'll choose the top of the screwdriver, although you could choose any point. So let's draw the first ray. And the first ray comes in off the top of the screwdriver through the focal point, and then hits the mirror. When a ray goes through the focal point, it comes off of the mirror parallel. And I'm going to do the best job I can here on the board, but when you're doing your homework, you have rulers and good grid paper, you can do an even better job. And so this is the incoming ray to the mirror, and then it bounces off the mirror like such. Now let's take the second ray, and you, by symmetry, if you take a ray coming in parallel to the screwdriver, do that as best I can, coming in parallel, and then it comes out through the focal point, And we see that the rays converge right here. And if I draw in the, the image that you see of the screwdriver, well, this obviously this is the light rays converging from the top of the screwdriver. But now you know where the top is. Rather than draw the symbol of the rays for every point on the screwdriver, we can glean what the, what the rest will be. And we draw our screwdriver here. And this should be what you saw in the previous demonstration. Now, let's take the other situation. As the mirror moved closer, the screwdriver got inside the focal point. And then we saw a right side up image. So let's look at these rays. So again, we go through the focal point. But in this case, the screwdriver is in front of the focal point. So you actually have to start where the focal point is. So put the ruler one in on the focal point, and then take this ray, and it hits the mirror and bounces off parallel to the mirror. So here's the first one. And then, Let's draw the, the other one, where the uh, light comes in parallel from the screwdriver tip, and then comes out through the focal point. So this is the second red. Notice, your eyeballs right here these light rays are not converging. They are not producing a real image. For this case, where the screwdriver is outside the focal point, if you put a piece of paper here, you would see the image of the screwdriver. That is the definition of a real image. This is a virtual image or an imaginary image because the light rays diverge. But what your brain does, your brain takes these diverging lines and your brain imagines them going straight through the, the mirror, because your brain always assumes light travels in a straight line. So what your brain does is it extends this, this ray straight back, and it extends this one straight back, and converges them behind the mirror, and you get your image of the screwdriver. And you can see that it's larger, and it's right side up, which should be exactly what you saw. This is a virtual 
or some people call it imaginary image. It does not really exist. You, I mean, there is, there is not light being sent behind the mirror. Now, good. We have our real image inverted. We have our imaginary image right side up. Now, let's use the lens equation to figure out if we got, if we did our rays correctly, which I think we did, and we got in the right ballpark. Lens equation is this. 1 over the focal distance equals, oops, 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. Well, the focal distance is 2, so this is 1 over 2 equals 1 over 3 plus 1 over the image distance. Now, if I just subtract one-third from both sides, well, one-half minus one-third is equal to one-sixth. So one-sixth is now equal to one, to one over the image distance. And therefore, the image distance is equal to six. And it's a positive number. That's important. The positive number means that it's a real image, and it will be focused on the correct side of the mirror, or, or lens, if you're working with a lens. And six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. Let's check this guy. So, again, using lens equation, one over the focal distance equals one over the object distance plus one over the image distance. And the focal distance is, a, is one over two. The, the object is 1 over 1, which is just 1, plus 1 over the image distance. So we have a 1 half minus 1, because I subtract 1 from both sides to get rid of this guy, equals 1 over the image distance. So I have 1 half equals 1 over the image distance. And therefore, the image distance is equal to 2. Ah, careful, I made a mistake here. 1 half minus 1 is not 1 half, it's minus 1 half. And therefore the image distance is minus 2. The minus sign is important. It means that it's an imaginary image. It's not real. So it's on the other side of the mirror. Now it should be two units on the other side. Well, I drew it at 1. Probably if I had drawn straighter lines, we would have ended right up at 2. Um, there you go. I hope that gives some insight to what we just saw with the mirror.